Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, we'll be going through creative ways to combine rotation scroll effects with circular elements in Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages and click on add new. Now I'm going to give this page a name. However, you can design this on any existing pages on your website. So I'm just going to call this rotate and then click on use Divi Builder. And I'm going to build this from scratch. I'm going to click on here on start building and I'm going to go with three columns. And before I add anything in here, I just want to go to my section settings here and add a temporary margin. So I'm going to click here on design and then click on spacing. So this is so that we can see our design when we scroll. But of course, if you're using this on an existing website or an existing page, you may not need to do this. All right, so I'm going to set this to ATVH and I'm going to add this both to the top and the bottom. And now once I've done that, I'm just going to save and then I'm just going to come back over here to my rows so I can start adding all my blurbs. So let's go ahead now and click on this plus button and add my first blurb. In fact, it is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. So over here, this is where you can add your text. And of course, it can be whatever text you want that goes with your site. And over here on the title, you can also update your title, but I'm not going to go ahead and do that. Next, I'm going to come over here to image and icon and click here where it says use icon. And this is where we need to navigate and choose an icon that we need to use for this design. So in your case, you can choose any icon that goes with your design. But uh, here I'm just going to go with uh, something that just works for this tutorial. So I'm going to go with this here, the bulb. Now let's go ahead and start designing this blurb. So the first thing we're going to do is to add a background color. So I'm going to come over here and click here on this plus and add our color. Now, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right. So now that I've added my background color, let's head over here to design. And uh, we are going to start with our title font here. Now, the quickest way to get to this is to just click here on this brush tool and this will take you to the title font. And here we're going to choose a specific font called Oswald. And so I'm going to go ahead and select it. Uh, we're going to make this all caps. And also we're going to change the color to white and the size to 22. Now, as you can see, our body text here is not easy to read. So I'm just going to click again on this brush tool and set this to white as well. Next, we want to make sure everything is all aligned to the center. So I'm just going to go over here to my title, make sure it's aligned. So now everything has been aligned. OK, so with that all set, the next step now is to give this design here a bit of breathing space. But before we do that, let's head over here to our width settings. So I'm going to come over here to sizing. And this is where for our width, we are going to set this to 300 pixels for maximum width. I'm going to do the same. And for the height, again, I'm going to set this to 300 pixels. Now let's add some uh, padding around this blurb. So to do that, I'm just going to come over here and set this to 25 all around just to give this nice breathing space. OK, so now that I've added my padding, the next step now is to go to the rounded corners. So I'm going to come over here to border and I'm going to set each corner here to 50 percent. Now, notice that my chain here has been activated. So that that's what allows me to uh, set this to a circle. But if you have this chain broken, you're only going to apply this 50% to one of the sides. All right. So now let's uh, set our position. So I'm going to come over here to advanced position. And for our position here, I'm going to set this to relative and making sure that the top left is selected. Now let's set our offset. So here we're going to set this to 25 pixels. And I'm also going to do the same for the horizontal offset as well. And on the Z index, I'm going to set this to one. So this will center the blurb within the dividers and we'll add this later. Now let's go to the scroll effects. And then over here, we're going to go to rotating, activate it, and let's set our settings now. So over here, I'm just going to split this middle part here into two just by pulling one of the sides. So the first one here needs to be at 60 and this one here needs to be at 40 percent. And then over here, our starting rotation is going to be 45 degrees. And the ending is going to be a minus 45 degrees. 
All right, so we are done here. I'm going to save this. So the next part is to add a divider. So I'm going to click on this plus button and search for my divider. I'm going to select it. So here where it says show divider, make sure it's set to no. And then we're going to come over here to our background and we're going to add our colors for the background. So the first color here, in fact, we need to make sure this is a gradient. So I'm going to click on this plus button and then add my first color. So I'm going to paste my color in here like that. And then I'm going to add my second color by coming over here and pasting the color in here. Now, the colors I'm going to use throughout this tutorial are going to be added to the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. All right. So uh, now it's time to add our start and end position. So for our start position, I'm going to set this to 50. And for my end position, I'm going to set this to 50 as well. Now it's time to make this circular. So we're going to come over here to the design tab and go to sizing. So here we're going to set our width to 350. Our maximum width is also going to be 350. Our height is going to be 350. And then all we have to do now is to add our rounded corners, which we're going to achieve by coming over here to border and setting this to 50%. And now you can see we have our full circle there. Next, let's go to our positioning. So I'm going to click here on the advanced tab position and the positioning here that we need is absolute. And notice now that our shape now is in this divider that we've just created. Now it's time to add our scroll effect. So I'm going to come over here. So what we're going to do here is to also add rotation. So I'm going to activate enable rotating and then i'm going to set my starting here my starting rotation to zero and uh, the midpoint needs to be at 45 degrees and then finally this needs to be at minus 180. so pretty much this one here is done i'm going to save now we also need to add another divider here so to do that uh, it's easier if i just come over here to expand settings click on my layers and then i'm just going to expand this so what we need is the divider. So this is all in column one. So I'm just going to duplicate this and then click on the settings of this divider. Now let's work on our colors. So I'm going to come over here to the background. And this time we are going to add colors which have transparency. So I'm going to click here on my first color, drag the slider down a little bit, and then paste my values between the brackets, just like that. Now, in order for you to get the uh, transparency settings, you need to make sure that you drag the slider. So I'm gonna do it one more time for you. I'm gonna come over here. Now, as you can see, this is a solid color, but if I drag this down a little bit, it can be anywhere. This allows us now to add our RGBA values. So I'm gonna paste them like that. So pretty much these are my two colors. Next, we're going to come over here to advanced scroll effects, and it's also going to be rotation. So I'm going to activate rotation and I just need to change my midpoints here. So this one here needs to be at 90 degrees. And then over here, this needs to be 180 and the starting rotation is fine at zero. So pretty much we're done here. I'm going to save this. And then I need to duplicate this one more time and then go into the divider settings advanced scroll effects in fact you know what before we go to the scroll effects let's start by going to the background and updating our colors all right so here on the colors i'm just going to go in here and replace the values here with my new values and i also need to add the values for the second color so i'm going to click over here and replace this so make sure everything is added in the brackets all right so now that i've added this the next step now is to head over here to advanced scroll effects and making sure you click on rotating this time this one here needs to be at 360 and right here in the middle it's 180 and zero right so the next step now is to enable scaling up and down so i'm going to activate it so all i have to do is to add my starting scaling here which is going to be 110 the midpoint needs to be 110 as well. And then the final one here is fine at 100%. So pretty much uh, this design here is complete. So I'm going to save this. So we also need to add other modules here. So as you can see, we've spent so much time designing this very first one here. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this column here, which has uh, these designs and delete the empty ones. So we're going to delete this one here and this one here. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that quickly. 
And then I'm going to come over here and just duplicate this twice like that. And I'm going to do it one more time. So now we have these three designs. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into module into column two uh, because we've already designed column one. So this column two now is what we need. So we're going to go into the blurb settings and this time we're going to add a background color and it's going to be white. So I'm going to come over here and set this to white and it's time now to change the text colors. So I'm going to come over here to design and I'm going to start here with the title and we're going to set this to black and also set the uh, text title to black as well so that is easier to read on this dark background so now that we have this uh, we can add the uh, blending modes to our text here so let's head over here to our filters and for our blending mode here we're going to set this to screen and notice that here things have changed on this design now let's update the scroll effects. So we're going to start with the first divider here. So I'm going to click on this gear icon, go to advanced scroll effects. So here, what we're going to do is to go to rotating and we're just going to make a few amendments here. So our first rotation here is going to be hundred percent. Now, the reason why we're doing this is because we just want these to rotate at different times. All right, so the middle one here is going to be 120. And then here, this is going to be 100. So we're done here. I'm going to save this. Now we're going to go into the blurb in column three. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon to go into my blurb settings and click on design. And then here, we're also going to go to the filters. And this time here on the filters, we're going to set this to multiply. So I'm going to choose multiply. And you're going to notice that there's going to be a difference here now we need to update the icon color by coming over here to content image and icon so by the way if you want to change this icon into something else you can just do it over here but now let's just go and change our color and we're going to change this to white now we're going to change our settings by coming over here to scroll effects and what we need to uh, fix here is a scale up and down so making sure it's activated okay so pretty much we're done here i'm going to save this and then close my layers tab and then publish this page. So we're going to do the final preview and take a look at this final design. Next, I want to exit the visual builder. And now when we scroll, you can see this beautiful design. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and to follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.